fans, welcome back to another great episode of VIPW Wrestling here on Shaw TV. I'm General Manager Jim Summers, with me is Matt Carter. Now we got a very special episode for you here tonight. No telling what chaos we got in store because these crazy fans here in Nanaimo brought the weapons for our Doomsday Battle Royal. Matt, who knows what's gonna happen here tonight? It's gonna be absolutely crazy. Again, here at the Departure Bay Activity Center, fans have been invited to bring weapons to the match. So they'll be put out onto the ring for the wrestlers to use. And I think pretty much every wrestler in the city is here tonight. We're gonna see them all in the ring. It's again, just gonna be I can't call it organized chaos, but it's going to be a lot of disorganized fun, that's for sure. You know, Matt, I had to think over that a couple times before signing that match as the general manager. <laughs> it's going to be wild. We're going to do everything we can to keep these fans here in Nanaimo safe and uh, to keep our fans at home enjoying this great action. Thomas Chow standing by behind the scenes. Tonight, VIPW puts on a doomsday battle royal. All the fans bring the weapons, and I'm going to come out victorious. Anything's possible in this one. It's going to be mayhem but the winner will be the Infinite Legacy. Normally, the strongest man has the advantage here, but tonight, the fans are bringing weapons. And you know what? I think, like to think of myself as a technical guy, so we'll just see what's gonna happen. Stepping into the ring isn't the important part, though. Watching every man fall over his butt, over the top rope, is the key to this match. And you'll see at the end, Eli Surge standing with his hand raised. You know what, since starting in VIPW, I've been called every name in the book. Fat, out of shape, piggy. Well tonight, I throw the book back in their face when I throw all their favorite wrestlers over the line and set them packing home like a bunch of illegal immigrants. Protect this house. Tonight, TJ Harley, the master of the battle royal, he's got a strategy. It's the perfect strategy. It's hold on for dear life and be a winner in the end. Battle royals are my specialty because I'm the greatest in the universe, baby. Doom, doom, doom. What's a, what's a doomsday battle royal? <sighs> We're gonna get ridiculously crazy because I'm the nuttiest guy in this building. I tell you, I'm gonna walk out the champion. I'll tell you something, a battle royale, you can call it any royale you want. You can call it a fight royale, a battle royale, a wrestling match royale, but it don't matter because there's only one royale and that's the king himself, the king of the Yukon. And I'm gonna go out there tonight, I'm gonna lick every one of those lily-livered, yellow belly, know nothing, have nothing, got nothing, says nothing, know nothing, nowhere fail, hopeless little tarts. Cause that's exactly what I like to do. You know why? I got one reason, it's not a very good one, let me think. I, Rhea Von Slasher, am going to beat every single man in this Doomsday Battle Royal tonight because it's what I do. Get him, Rhea! Tonight, I prove once again that I am the king of violence in the Pacific Northwest. And tonight, the body bags come out. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Doomsday Battle Royal. Eddie Osborne is back in Vancouver Island Professional Wrestling. I'ma kick him, I'ma punch him, I'ma kick him, punch him, kick him, punch him, kick him, punch him, and throw him over the top rope because I'm going to the top once again. Tonight, VIPW Doomsday Battle Royal. Nolan James is going to the top. Fans bring the weapons. I can't wait to see what they're bringing me. <laughs> Now, I 
may not be the largest, may not be the strongest, definitely not the smartest. Juan, what do I, Juan, what do I have? You're the best. You're the best looking. But I am the best. The best. And the best looking. The best looking yeah. So catch me the in the rumble. And catch me in the altar. I don't know if you people at home know, but the people that are here in these seats know. Weapons, they're kind of my specialty. I like to hit people, and I like to hit people hard. You better watch to find out. I'm gonna be the one standing in the ring when everybody else is thrown out. Everyone else out there, they're talking about winning the Battle Royal. That's not what we're doing. You're gonna hurt people. You're gonna send a message. You're gonna hurt people, you're gonna send a message, and you're gonna cripple them. Because every last person that you put on that disabled list is one last person on our path to BJ Laredo. Weapons legal, doomsday battle royal, hardcore rules, that's just the way the uprising likes it. And the path of destruction begins tonight. Well, here we are, absolutely huge match for our fourth episode here on Shaw Television. This is gonna get out of hand real fast, Matt. <laughs> it is a doomsday. Fans bring the weapons, Battle Royal, and these crazy fans here in Nanaimo have brought a number of uh, treats for our uh, VIPW stars to use. I, I think Nolan James is about to rock out on somebody's face. Yeah, we're seeing some music instruments. We're seeing some, oh, now they're already at it, some sports implements. Now again, the way this match works, um, if you're knocked out of the ring and both feet hit the floor, you are out. Abs, that is right. Uh, both of the feet touching the arena floor will be an elimination. Of course, it has to be over the top rope. So if you were ejected from the ring through the middle ropes, uh, you would still be legal, able to roll back into the ring. Top rope elimination here in this Doomsday Battle Royal. Oh, he has, oh we already have some. <laughs> uh, it's not often you see Eddie Osborne, Eddie Osborne get laid, laid out that quickly, but I mean, uh, a steel cooking tray to the face will do that to pretty much any man. Yeah. And what's what's Cremator stabbing stabbing the sergeant with there? I think it's a hockey stick, or at least part of a hockey stick. Uh, and I think Cremator may have just caught that same hockey stick down low in no man's land. Scott, uh, Scott Steele just hitting Rebound Slasher over the head. Some great history between them as, as combatants and bringing it back again here. Even outside of the ring, they're fighting as well. That's King right, I mean, the action is already spilled out here. We got weapons all over the arena. We got weapons all over the ring. BJ Loretta with the artwork. Over the head of the infamous TJ Harley. What a perfect picture that is. He's been framed. Harley's taking a nap, and then the sergeant here after the king of the Yukon. Well, that umbrella's already been tossed around between a few competitors in this matchup, but uh, Mike Everest using it to perhaps get some extra height there uh, with the uh, axe handle smash. Uh, I will blame it on the rain with that one. Oh, and the king of the Yukon there, uh, gone for gone for lunch. Oh, gone well, lunch, it's right. legal here in this matchup, of course. I mean, Doomsday Battle Royal, anything goes, whether it's weapons or a good old-fashioned chomp out of your opponent's arm like the king of the Yukon elected for there. Well, wrestlers are hungry, folks. They uh, need to keep their calories up. King of the Yukon doing their best there. Again, just chaos throughout all the ring here. Zach Merrick in a bit of a hold over there from the Legacy. TJ Harley still with the artwork around his almost his entire torso now. And Laredo not done with Harley there. I mean, he framed him up nicely. And now it looks, are those nunchucks? I believe they might be. Bruce Lee Laredo. Michelangelo in the house. Out there. Oh, and a chair over the head of Eddie Osborne, it looks like, from Terminator Von Slasher. I mean, this match has been incredible already. I think the king of the Yukon has himself a hot dog. And this is no- oh, There's a hot dog there in is, the hand. They, they are, at this point, uh, licking oh, hot dogs. It's a hot dog battle. I believe this match may have turned into an eating contest. 
Mike Everest not to be outdone. I think he just bit into the Yukon's dog there as well. Holy Kobayashi. And it looks like Yukon's gonna finish the rest of this match with a hot dog in his mouth. Oh, goodness. Nolan James, on the other hand, not having a hot dog party, not having a good time right now in this match with the monster cremator Von Slasher. TJ Harley is having a nap. Uh, the king of the Yukon, he is still, yeah, he eating, is the hot still dog. eating that hot dog. It is uh, that might last him all match at this rate. This is a man who appreciates good pork products. I'm not sure what the culinary uh, delights are up in uh, up in the northern territories of Canada, but yes, uh, the, well, the Ham Hammond Bay hot dog, right. just I absolutely know that, delicious. Uh, I know that uh, Tony Baroni, when he makes his way to the islands, likes to enjoy a little bit of kebab, and it looks like uh, King of the Yukon's in it for the hot dogs. I mean, who can blame him? Oh, a thumb to the eye by TJ Harley. And it looks like uh, his old protege, Judas Icarus, uh, definitely not a friend of his anymore, but it looks like perhaps oh, only one foot touched the floor there. It looks, it looks like the referee's not calling him out. Oh no, we are here in an elimination. Oh, well, at least the king can, he can go enjoy another hot dog now, you know, so. Yeah. There's pros and cons to any situation, of course. Scott Steele, oh, what do we have here around the neck? Oh, he's spitting up his dog. Oh, what a waste. Well, at least the folks in the front row get a free, uh, free dessert. Well, Sergeant I mean, I think Everest what we learned here, match. folks, is uh, don't eat hot dogs in the middle of a battle royal because they were the uh, first two men eliminated from the match, Matt. Yeah, Sergeant has been put in jail. That's Slow right. Them, them, Mike them. Everest, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. He is out of this matchup. Now, TJ Harley has himself just, just a, dancing, I think. a solid looking stick of bamboo. I don't know if that's a rain dance that he's trying to achieve with it, uh, but Rhea Von Slasher's having none of it. None of that throws him out. Rhea Von Slasher comes right from behind and throws him over the ring. Big smile on her face there. What's going on with, is that a veal up there? Eddie Osborne and BJ Laredo, both of them, you know, you know, power definitely uh, not in shorthand there. Those two, I'm not sure if they even need weapons the way those forearms are coming in. Oh, and Cremator, no stranger to uh, play it around with steel chairs. I think we lost a goalie stick there a moment ago, but I'm a fan of the chairs, an old school wrestling fan. Oh, there's a baseball bat there. Well, that's right. I mean, the fans bring the weapons. It gets a little crazy. You see this. Uh, well, the guitar. Uh, yeah, I believe oh. that is a guitar hero guitar that's about to be used, but nothing wrong with a traditional steel chair as well, of course. Rhea Von Slash not happy about being thrown out of this match. Oh, most definitely this uh, fourth episode. Oh, he just lost Eddie Osborne. Osborne. Eddie I mean, Osborne again. All of the marbles are on the line here. I mean, these competitors know right now they are on Shaw TV. You know, up and down the island, people are watching this matchup, and you know, they're gonna decide who their fan favorites are based on contests like this one. Everybody looking to make an impact here on the island. Nolan James out of the match, and BJ Loretto maybe out of conscious. The cremator. Oh, oh my goodness. The guitar chair combo. B.J. Laredo may need a trip to the emergency room when this match is done. Not the Swiffer he was reaching for there. Well, I mean, uh, for a match that has a Swiffer in it, it's been anything but clean so far. It looks like Eli Surge now trying to eliminate the big man. He may need help. And Scott Steele just super kicked Judas Icarus off the apron, taking him out of the contest as he had already gone over the top rope there. What was Kuz Cremator? Oh, oh, no, he uses the keyboard! A keyboard to the face of Zach Merrick. Play me a song, Mr. Piano Man. Zach Merrick may be uh, sleeping to the tune that was played there for the next day or two at this pace. Oh, and look at this, BJRL. Zach Merrick throwing him out of the ring. 
recent combatants, and, I mean, What is Eli, Eli Surge going to do now without the other members of the Uprising there to back him up? This is really when we're going to test his medal oh, here. Father Juan Valdez in oh the match. My, oh! Father Juan Valdez made the questionable decision of trying to get involved with a very angry BJ there. Oh, and Legacy's up and over as well. Oh, what is this? What is this? We have dropped in the ring. Oh, is that no. Lego? Never mind thumbtacks. We've all seen Home Alone. This is not going to be a good time for anybody that lands on that Lego. Oh, we're going to see some blockheads after this. And it might be Father Von Valdez, the first one to hit into it. I can honestly say that I never thought I'd call that in a match, Matt. Juan falls over the Lego nest. Oh, and a black oh! hole slam into the Lego as well by Cremator. Duplicity. It's not just fun for kids. Mito Loretto, one of your hometown heroes, is out. Cremator Von Slasher is on a mission. And this crowd here in Nanaimo is not happy. Oh my goodness. He's do, not even in the match. Who do we have in the, Who is this? The who champion is, this? is not even in this match. It's Crofton. Making his presence felt. He's raising a racket. Scott Steele. No! Just taking Eli Surge's face right off. I mean, Cremator should still be a part of this matchup, technically. He was eliminated by Croft, and he's not even in the match. Yeah, that's Chris. Oh, looks like he may be getting match back in the match anyways. He has every right to. Croft is not a member Scott of the Steel, battle turn world. around. Jumps both of them out. Cremator. No, this is its not ending like this. This is ridiculous. What do you mean it's not ending like finish this? Finish the episode. Do the outro. I wait, wait. I can't. GM Jim Summers has just left the announcer's table. I don't know where he's going. I don't know if he's, if he's calling for help, calling the police. Cremator currently in the ring, taking credit for this victory right now. Crowd is shocked, not sure what to make of all this. I mean, we can't really be surprised that this guy's this tall, but... Crofton overlooking as well. Crofton, Crofton is also claiming the Cremator Von Slasher is the winner. Someone's Let jumping with the light. Wait, this GM Jim Summers has grabbed the announcer's mic. Like GM Jim Summers, my, my broadcast compatriot, saying the match cannot end like this. Is he going to try to disqualify Cremator Von Slasher? There is no winner in this matchup to no contest. I'm working to no contest. As the manager here Jim, Jim Summers, who you just saw right here, is calling this match a no contest. Here's what we're going to do right here in the battle, okay? We're going to have a four way dance. And it's going to be Scott Steele. I'm glad it's they're calling no contest on this. GM, Jim Summers calling a four way match at the next event. Here's what we're going to do right here in the battle, okay? We're going to have a four way dance. And it's going to be Scott Steele. I'm glad that they're calling no contest on this. GM, Jim Summers calling a four way match at the next VIPW get together here in Nanaimo. Four way match for the championship. And the crowd is erupting. Knowing the next championship match will be back here in the Nanaimo in July. Summer's not happy with how things have progressed here in the match. Oh, Jim has got to be just steaming. So in the meantime, let's look at some of these crazy highlights here. Where's the racket? The bucket to the head. Oh, there's the king of the Yukon again having a snack before he found out hot dogs were on sale at the concession stand. Jim Sinker's getting slapped there. Absolute chaos, as you can see. Again, this is the fans bring the weapon match. All the weapons used here. Yes, there's the goalie stick. Great upon Slasher dropping it down. All the fans here in Broadcast. And there we go, the double hot dog eating contest. Back with the Ugon King. Yes, got thrown out. But again, he got to have a little more lunch. The fall of Everest there. Another look there, Sergeant Mike Everest. Order thrown out. Ria Von Slasher also being thrown out there.
just got Zach Merrick just destroyed by feet throwing out of the match. And Father Juan, he's going to the match surprise, getting his just desserts, throwing in back into Lauren. And that smack over the head, just chaos here as part of our Doomsday Battle Royal. Fans bring the weapon match. Craziness here at the Departure Bay Activity Center. Back to Brown for wrestling. Absolute craziness here in the Departure Bay Activity Center of Vancouver Island Pro Wrestling. Uh, as you saw their GM, uh, Jim Summers, had to run into the ring, take care of some stuff, and I guess we'll see uh, what the final outcome and where things are going from that crazy battle royale really is. And for uh, more information on it, check out the Vancouver Island Pro Wrestling Facebook page. Search for VIPW and find them on there. Not only you'll find out the results from these matches, but also for upcoming events, how you can either watch on TV or watch live as well. On behalf of GM Jim Summers and all of us with the VIPW and Shock TV crew, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the ring soon.